So in this video, we are going to solve circuit problems using superposition theorem. Now the idea behind superposition theorem is that given a circuit which contains two or more sources, we can find the current through a particular resistor or the voltage across a resistor considering each of the sources acting alone. So for this circuit, we have a current source and a voltage source. Now we are asked to find the current in the 8 ohms resistor using superposition theorem. So the best thing we are going to do is to consider each of the sources at a time. So for instance, we can consider the 45 volts acting alone while we deactivate the 9 amperes current and we try to find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor while we note the direction of the current. Next, we are going to deactivate the 45 volts and then activate the 9 amperes current and we also try to find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor and we also notice the direction of the current. At the end, we are going to find the algebraic sum of current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor and that will be the total current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor. So without wasting much time, let's solve this question. So first of all, let's consider the 45 volts acting alone. So we have let 45 volts act alone. So by this, we are going to deactivate the 9 amperes current source and deactivating that, we are going to represent that with an open circuit. So let's redraw the circuit with the 9 amperes current source deactivated. So we have this to be the 10 ohm, 8 ohm, 6 ohm, and then 3 ohm. At this point, let's find the value of the total resistance for this circuit so that we can find the current produced by this 45 volt and then we can find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor when the 45 volt is acting alone. So let's call the total resistance for this circuit RT prime. And that is equal to now we have these two resistors connected in series because the same current will flow through them and the combination will be in parallel with the 6 ohms resistor and all of that in series with the 3 ohms resistor so we have 8 plus 10 all parallel 6 and all of that in series with the 3 ohms resistor so plus 3 so let's solve this so we have 18 parallel 6 and that is equal to 18 times 6 divided by 18 plus 6 plus 3. So 18 times 6 we have 108, 18 plus 6 that is 24 and then we have plus 3. Now this fraction that is 108 divided by 24 gives 4.5 and then we have plus 3 and that is equal to 7.5 ohms. So we have RT prime to be 7.5 ohms. Now let's find the current produced by the 45 volts. Let's call that I prime. So we have I prime to be equal to V divided by RT prime. That is 45 divided by 7.5 and that is equal to 6 amperes. So we have the total current produced by the 45 volts to be 6 amperes. Now let's find the current that is going to flow through the 8 ohms resistor when the 45 volts is acting alone. So this 6 amperes current is going to flow in this direction approaching this junction. Now at this point we can use the current division rule to find the current that is flowing in this branch. So the current that is going to flow through the 8 ohms resistor, we can call that I8 ohm prime. And that is equal to the value of this resistor, which is 6, divided by 
Now we are going to combine these two resistors because we have the same current flowing through them, which means that they are connected in series. So that is going to be 18. So we have 6 divided by 6 plus 18. Using the current division rule, we are going to multiply that by the total current approaching the junction, which is 6 amperes. So when you solve this, you are going to get 1.5 amperes. And notice the direction of the current. The current is moving this way, that is to the left. So this is the direction of the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor when the 45 volt is acting alone. Now at this point, we are going to deactivate the 45 volts and then activate the 9 amperes current. So let's do that. So let 9 amperes act alone. So let's redraw the circuit deactivating the 45 volts. So the 45 volts becomes a short circuit. We are going to represent that by a short circuit. So that is that. So we have 10 ohms, 6 ohms, 3 ohms, and then 8 ohms. So to find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor, first of all, we need to combine these two resistors in parallel and then in series with this resistor so that we can have two resistors and then we can distribute the current through them. So we can simplify this circuit as we have the 9 amperes current and then we have this 10 ohms resistor and then we have also the combination of these three resistors. Now let's find the combination of these three resistors. So we have 6 in parallel with the 3. So that is 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3. And then that will be in series with the 8 ohms resistor. So plus 8. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 plus 3 is 9. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. And then 2 plus 8 is 10. So we have the combination to be 10 ohms. So we have 10 ohms here. Now since we have 9 amperes current moving to this junction, and we have two resistors of the same value in parallel, in that case, the current that is going to be distributed between the two is going to be half of the total current approaching the junction. So what this primarily means is that the current that is I8 ohm prime prime flowing through this branch and for that matter, the 8 ohm resistor is going to be 4.5 amperes, which is half of the total current approaching the junction. Now, mind you, the current that flows through this branch, which is 4.5 amperes, is the same current that will be distributed between the 3 ohm resistor and the 6 ohm resistor. So the current that flows through the 8 ohm resistor when the 9 amperes current is acting alone will definitely be 4.5. Now let's also note the direction of the current. It is moving to the right. So at this point, we are going to add the two current values. Therefore, we have I8 ohm equals I8 ohm prime plus I8 ohm prime prime now let's assume that the current moving to the left that is this current is going to be a negative current so that is negative 1.5 and then the current moving to the right is going to be a positive current so we have plus 4.5 therefore we have negative 1.5 plus 4.5 to be equal to 3.0. Therefore, we have the total current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor to be 3.0 amperes. So basically, that is how to solve circuit problems using superposition theorem. 
Now let's move on to the next question. So for this question, we are going to find the current in the 4 ohms resistor using superposition theorem. Now from the previous question, we said that to solve a circuit using superposition theorem, the first thing we are going to do is to consider one of the sources acting alone while we deactivate the other source and then we find the current flowing through the resistor in question while we note the direction of the current. So that is exactly what you are going to start off with. So let's consider the 20 volts acting alone. Which means that we are going to deactivate the 2 amperes current source and then we are going to replace that with an open circuit. So let's redraw the circuit with the 2 amperes current source deactivated. So we have this to be the 20 volts, we have 10 ohms, 4 ohms, 5 ohms and then 5 ohms. At this point, let's find the total resistance for this circuit. So we call that RT prime and that is equal to, these two resistors are connected in series because we have the same current flowing through them. And the combination is in parallel with the 4 ohms. And then all of that in series with a 10 ohms resistor. So we have 5 plus 5 all parallel 4 and then all of that in series with a 10 ohms resistor. So 5 plus 5 is 10 therefore we have 10 times 4 divided by 10 plus 4 plus 10. Now 10 times 4 is 40 10 plus 4 is 14 and then 40 divided by 14 gives 2.8571 and then plus 10 we have 12.8571 ohms so this is the total resistance RT prime now let's find the total current produced by the 20 volts let's call that i prime so we have i prime equals 20 divided by 12.8571 and that is equal to 1.5556 amperes so this is the total current produced by the 20 volts now let's find the current that is flowing through the 4 ohms resistor when the 20 volts is acting alone. Now in so doing, we are going to use the current division rule. So to find the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor, let's call that I4 ohm prime. And that is equal to, because we are going to distribute current between the 4 ohm and the combination of these two resistors, we have 5 plus 5 which is 10 so we have 10 divided by 10 plus 4 and then we multiply that by the total current approaching the junction which is 1.5556 amperes so we have i4 ohm prime to be equal to 1.5 one 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 amperes so this is the value of current that flows through the 4 ohms resistor when the 20 volts is acting alone now let's deactivate the 20 volts and then consider the 2 amperes current so let 2 amperes act alone so let's redraw the circuit deactivating the 20 volts We have this to be the 5 ohms resistor. We also have this 5 ohms resistor. We have this to be the 4 and the 10 ohms resistor. We have the voltage source short circuited.
Now to find the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor, we first of all need to combine these three resistors. So the 4 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 10 ohm resistor and the combination is in series with the 5 ohms resistor. So we can simplify this circuit so that it looks like this. We have 2 amperes and then we have 5 ohms and the combination of these three resistors here. So we have 4 in parallel with 10, which is 4 parallel 10. And then all of that in series with the 5 ohms resistor. Now we have 4 parallel 10 to be 2.8571. So plus 5 becomes 7.8571. 8571 ohms. So that is the resistor we have here 7.8571 ohms. So we have this current flowing in this direction, and at this point, the current is going to be distributed between the 5 ohms and the combined resistor 7.8571. So that is we have 2 amperes here. At this point, we have some current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. Now the current that flows in this direction is the current that will be distributed between the 4 ohms resistor and this 10 ohms resistor. And the total current will flow through the 5 ohms resistor in the sense that at this point when the two currents split, they are going to combine here. So the current that will flow through this 5 ohms resistor will be the same current that flows through the 7.8571 ohms resistor. So first of all, let's find the current that flows through this resistor. And then at this point, we can find the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor. So let's call the current flowing through this resistor to be I prime prime. So that is equal to the value of this resistor, which is 5 divided by 5 plus 7.8571 times 2 amperes so that gives 0 0.7778 amperes so that is I prime prime the current that flows in this direction so that is the total current flowing in this direction and at this point this current will split so that we have part of the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor now let's call that current to be I4 ohm prime prime. Also using current division rule, we have 10 divided by 10 plus 4 times 0 0.7778 amperes. So that will be equal to 0 0.5556 amperes. So that is the current that flows through the 4 ohms resistor when the 2 amperes current source is acting alone. So now let's find the total current that flows through the 4 ohm resistor. So that is given by I4 ohm equals I4 ohm prime plus I4 ohm prime prime. Now let's consider the current moving downwards to have a positive value, which means that we have I4 ohm prime to be positive. So that is 1.1111 plus and then we consider the current moving upwards to have a negative value so that is i4 ohm prime prime will have a negative value so plus negative this value that is 0 0.5556 so basically we have 1.1111 minus 0 0.5556 and that gives 0 0.5555 amperes so you can leave this to three decimal places so that you have i4 ohm equals 0 0.556 amperes so basically this is the total current that flows through the 4 ohms resistor